But all through the whole thing, I just said, no, we're not paying for it. You're not. I forget how they put it. But they give you, a, you know, if you're not bleeding, broken, or dying, you don't make this list. And I thought I made it when I was almost dying. But they refused to pay any part of it. I think I wrote about three letters to them, and they were all denied. Finally, um, recently, it I think it's been for about a year that I was been denied, denied, denied. So um, this, uh, let me see, that was back in April of uh, 2014. Then uh, finally in March of 2015, I was finally, they said they would pay for it. So by that time, I was just, it affected my everyday life, my GI symptoms, plus being on dialysis. I think I just could have done more. Um... They give these referrals to people who don't even know you, don't see you every day, and um, it's just wrong. Right now, it's scary for me. Uh, I'm uh, getting up in age, and uh, uh, right now I only have uh, part A and B, and even with that, uh, I'm being denied uh, any kind of health care, and, and it's really, I have serious problems, and so I need um, something more. Right now, it's scary at my age, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, have been taking $100 out of, off of my Social Security. No idea where I'm going to get my health care should... Uh, um, critical issues with my health mm -hmm. arise, and I uh, so it, it's uh, something that I, I dread thinking about. It seems to me like things are getting worse, and I so I don't see that light at the end of the tunnel. Well, started out with <clears throat> back trouble because I had a stressful job and. Where I worked I had cement floors and the weight I was supposed to throw around with the mail and stuff was uh, had to be at least 70 pounds. And so when my back started hurting me, then I had to start going regularly to see the doctor. And I had to go to specialists. And that helped for quite a while. And then... Other things started happening, like you know, I, st I had heart problems, I had pulmonary problems. Uh, the thing that's always bothered me, and still is, as you can tell by the way I talk, uh, was sinus. Mm -hmm. And they kept referring me to a specialist for, what is it, eye, ear, nose, and throat, whatever. Mm -hmm. And they've always been denied. And I can't understand that. I don't think that's right. Another thing that has really bothered me is that IHS is not uh, very prompt in paying the bills. If they do cover you to go to a specialist or use facilities, they don't uh, pay very quickly. I got two bills here that I just got yesterday that haven't been tended to since November and December. And one of them says they're turning me over to a collection bureau.
I think it's important to have a new clinic because this one here is so old, the building and facilities, and we need something new and modern to come up with technology today. It's been a, about three years. I've been happen to see my specialist for my health care. Uh, one for my kidneys, one for my for my knees, for rheumatoid arthritis. Um, also, I have uh, other health issues with my lungs, and uh, I haven't been able to see my doctors. I get denied because there's no money. You know, I haven't seen my specialist, you know, since last year that they did approve once, but I haven't seen them like three to four years in the past because they keep getting denied no money. I'm a young person. I'm, I consider myself young as 59. I should live another good 20, 30 years. We have worked in partnership with uh, IHS since they were created, and it is a federal building, and it is uh, the federal government's responsibility to provide health care to the people. IHS should really took a deep look at providing us with a new facility. This is, right now, is the only um, federal facility that's left in the western Nevada. And majority of all the people in the state of Nevada, especially the elders right now, were either born here or had services here. And currently it's become a historical site. And, you know, so people, all Nevadans, or native Nevadans, uh, identify with this facility. The funding, especially for the purchase referred care system, is all the new dollars that come down are basically based on a per capita. And if you're a large facility such as Phoenix Indian Medical Center that has 66,000 users versus Walker River that has 840, there's a big difference because all the money goes to bigger places. Right now we're still only funded at uh, about 54% level need funded and it leaves a big gap. The federal government uh, had to do a study back in 1998, and the Walker River Tribal Health Clinic came out as the number one facility within all of the IHS buildings. Health is so very important, and when we think of the health of those 3,300 plus members, it brings it more into perspective how important getting equal health care is, and also having a new clinic here would be, and how important it would be to those members.